So ladies and gentlemen, fight number 12 this evening will be for the vacant professional Eternal MMA Featherweight Championship and it will be contested over five five-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 66.2 kilos and trains out of absolute MMA, holding a professional MMA record of five wins for just two defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Far Jack Jenkins. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 66.0 kilos and trains out of Southside MMA, holding a professional MMA record of six wins for three defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for El Pantera Negra, Diego Pajera. Okay, you guys both know the rules. Protect yourselves at all fuck times and follow my instructions. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Back to your corners, come out fighting. I want the action begins. Your referee in charge, Garth Harriman. Garth Harriman with our final instructions. Eternal featherweight championship is on the line. Diego Pereira in the red, Jack Jenkins in the blue. Round one to near Nathan Cage side with Benny Alloway. Benny, this is the fight that a lot of us have been looking forward to. Yeah, both guys look in great condition. Heavy leg kick there from Jack. And Jack Jenkins looking very poised at this stage as they're both kind of tripping each other here early on in round number one. And again, targeting that lead leg. There's Jack Jenkins. Wow. Five five minute rounds for the Eternal Featherweight Championship. Vacated recently by Ryan Gray. Putting it up for grabs for these two gentlemen to contest. And what better place to contest it than here on the Gold Coast at the Southport Shark Sports Club. The home of Eternal MMA. Jenkins is he's winding up those leg kicks. A little too much over committing and just letting Diego counter a little bit after the fact. So Diego doing a good job of seeing what's being thrown his way so far. These two did not break eye contact during their introductions. Two dogs that have been staring at each other across the cage for a Meaningful period of time, Benny. Now this little, this first grappling exchange could tell us a little bit about the mentality of the fight so far, just to see who comes out ahead. Two minutes of feeling out on the feet, and now they enter into a little clinch on the cage. Diego not looking for a takedown. Sometimes guys just like to get in there and feel the strength of the other guy. Almost like just getting the looks on the feet. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, as you as you well mentioned, you know, this is a fight, this is a 25-minute fight. Both guys not looking to blow the gas tank. Here in the first. As Diego lands a punch of his own. Jack says, give me more. Looking a little awkward with that, that switch kick. Not so much with that one. It goes upstairs. Oh, yeah, well he's doing a good job of mixing things up, isn't he, Benny? Yeah, I mean, they're both very well-rounded fighters. Good check there from Far Jack. Still very much feeling each other out. Yes. Oh, nice counter there by Diego. He evaded the left hook, came back with the right of his own, finds himself up against the cage and not where you want to be. Yeah, 
And Jack doing a good job of getting him to the ground. Hasn't completed that takedown yet. As he does so there. But Diego, again, a product of Southside MMA. No doubt they would have drilled this position over and over again, according to the Springbok. Justin van Gieden. Diego is ready for all looks that Jenkins is willing to throw at him and to prepare to do anything to wrap up his first eternal featherweight championship. Jenkins, nice. Laces up the arm there, looking for the crucifix, but Diego explodes at the right time. Gets up. You can see now after that first little grappling exchange on the fence, Jenkins is taking him down, felt him on the ground. Now he's already back in there, so he must be feeling there's a bit of an advantage there. Well, as we count down the final few seconds of round Ooh. number one, Jack Jenkins looking for a John Jones-like spinning back elbow, or should I say a Chelsea Hackett-like <laughs> spinning back elbow. We saw that in her recent fight against Rhiannon Thompson as round one comes to an end. A tough round to score, Benny. Nonetheless, Jack Jenkins looking quite good. Yeah, and it just, you know, once the fights get bumped up to 5-5s, five it, it changes the mindset. And not the game plan so much, but the time it takes to apply the game plan. Both guys knocking each other off balance with leg kicks early on in the piece. So both guys stalking each other, trying to see what's up in the middle there. Jenkins loving that little crack on the face. But nice takedown. Good wrestle defensively for Diego to not submit to the ground mm. straight away. Well, I think if you're looking at two title contenders in the absence of Ryan Gray, look no further than... Diego Pereira and Jack Jenkins. Obviously, you mentioned earlier on, Benny, Diego's most impressive win, and I'm sure he'll agree of his career, would be that head kick knockout of the great white Michael Tobin. Notable wins also include Sam Hibbert and his current teammate, Justin Van Heerden, three years ago. Eternal 52, this is round two. In our Eternal Featherweight title bout. Pereira. In the red, Jenkins in the blue. Jenkins is in there. He's he's like an animal. He's he's just in there waiting for it. He, he loves to fight. He loves it. Loves to challenge. Loves to be engaged in action. We'd have to think in the featherweight division in Australia and New Zealand throughout the South Pacific, they don't come much tougher than the man they call the Black Panther. And Jack Jenkins holding his own as he eats one of his own. The right hand from Diego over the top. And you mentioned, Benny, a change in, I guess, mindset or even mentality. When you change the rounds from three to five, are you more conservative in the earlier rounds, knowing that there is a possibility that this bout could go longer than expected? I guess it depends on the game plan. I've never fought with a game plan, so <laughs> I've just always fought to try and finish the fight where I can, when I can. A true um, fighter to the core. But, sorry, go on. you know, in saying that, it's... It, it is a strategy. There's got to be a strategy, some kind of strategy. And I guess you don't want to be, you know, swimming in, in deep water come the third round because you're blowing your legs out. And as Diego said pre-fight, I'm ready for 25 minutes. I'm also ready for 25 seconds. We have far surpassed the limits of that. Nonetheless, both these men... Looking to make their mark and Jack Jenkins controlling center cage as he's done so for most of the fight. And Jenkins has got like this look on his face. It's not anger or, or or tough. It's just it's like he's excited. Yeah. He's constantly excited to be in there. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, he 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 loves it. He just loves being in there. He loves to fight. And fighting a guy who shares that same love. And Pereira. Yeah. 
spin back kick. Pereira just moving quite, he's moving very well on the outside. Hard to hit at the moment. Jack Jenkins pressing forward now, looking to apply the pressure. He does land a few shots on the exit. I was just going to say, Benny, Diego had a bit of success going to the body of Jack. I don't know if Diego's leg is starting to feel it from that first leg kick that almost knocked him over. He's changed stance twice now. Yes, indeed he has. So whether he's trying to throw Jenkins off a bit or he's... He's caught one or two of those kicks low on the calf. It doesn't take many of those calf kicks to get damaged. Both guys prepared for whatever shall come, and Diego can mix it up. Going to the headgear, head there rather, as Jack Jenkins replies with a body kick of his own. It goes low. Thirty seconds left in round number two. Ooh. A head kick Lovely lands for Diego. Jack Jenkins. Maybe not enough impact to really stun him, but. Definitely got his attention. There you guys got to be careful, T. He's on the back foot. Yeah, indeed he does. And Jack does a good job of mixing it up. He goes to the legs. He goes to the body. That one went to the head, and Jack shoots in to nice count down entry, the last nice round. Entry. Good defense there from Diego. Back to defense. Fantastic defense from the Black Panther. Another tough round for both men. I'll tell you what, our judges have their hand, hand, hands full here tonight in our first title belt. Yeah, very, you know, another a very even fight so far. It's um, just that last little exchange. Here we go, Jenkins. Just throwing well on the exit of the engagement. Just chips him on the jaw there with the top of his foot and stunned him for a second, but not enough to really take advantage of. I think that's woken Diego up now. He's, he's not complacent, but his hands were dropping a little bit low. Well, no doubt that'll be the instruction from Paul Pasha Stoiler in the corner. As we move into round number three. Eternal 52, our first of three title fights here tonight. Jack Jenkins having a lot to say. Bit of mental warfare going on here as round number three is underway. Both guys still trying to get a bit of a read on each other. Still, still feeling the fight out. A good front kick to the body there from Jenkins. Oh, nice entry, nice body lock trip there. Locks down and laces up that leg again. Moves to full mount wow. and straight to the back. And here we go, Benny. Jagger could be in a bit of trouble here. He saved it till round number three, but Jack Jenkins has decided to implement his grappling. Now let's see how well Diogo can defend. Diogo's no slouch on the ground, but neither is Jenkins. Looking for that neck. 
That right arm is looking to go under the chin. He looks safe so far, does Diego. The boys, you know, they are quite slippery in this third round. It's very hard to catch that neck if they know what's coming. Absolutely. Diego's just slid Jenkins' arm off twice there, just with the sweat. But Jenkins playing very smart with the, his back attack. He's only locking up half of the guard, goes back to full hooks now. And as you said, Benny, just struggling to get a grip, so to speak. And Diego's been grappling for a fair amount of time. Oh, absolutely. Jenkins, no slouch. Obviously physically strong. But Diego, he's, he's a crafty fighter on the ground as well. Oh, indeed he is. And I'll tell you what, no slouch. Look at that single leg. Yeah, Jenkins just slipping to that Kimura lace. And now he's elbowing. He's got to watch the back of the head. Oh, Diego, nice. Beautiful. Nice recovery into half guard. A beautiful reversal by Diego. He stayed composed. And what's he looking to do here, Benny? I think just gather his thoughts at the moment. He kind of looked over at his corner there to see what the instruction was. Let's see if he's got space on the mat. He wants to get a bit of damage. A couple of elbows, short elbows there, but you know, advanced position, get it, do a bit of damage. He opens up the left eye of Jenkins. Well, he's got time here, does Diego. Two minutes, or just over on the clock in round number three. And if Diego can continue the punishment from here, Jenkins just using that knee shield just to just to keep enough distance between him and Diego to soften the, the strikes, but it's not much of a not much of a guard there in the open mat. Diego just looks content to stay on top. Stay dominant for a, a little while, run the clock down. Yeah, Jenkins going to work with the elbows. Yes, and they do some damage, don't they, man? We've seen some blood spilt on this internal cage for elbows in the guard. Indeed we have. And I think Diego's done himself some serious favours in the judges' scorecard. Not only the defence against the submission attempts of Jenkins, but also maining, maintaining position on top after gathering it and landing strikes of his own. You'd have to think that Diego Pereira, if he can keep this up, could see himself ahead on the scorecards after round number three. Jenkins with some nasty elbows from the bottom. Yes, indeed. And he breaks clean. Well done to both men. Jack landing big shots of his own. Diego backs up. Spinning elbow. He's looking to set up for the spinning elbow. Diego throws it on his own. Almost thought Diego was trying to tell the ref that he got poked in the eye. Continue to fight on. of round number three and Jack Jenkins did himself a favor at the end of that round landing a few strikes nonetheless nonetheless rather you'd have to think Diego Pereira may have done enough in that round Benny in the eyes of the judges yeah like we, we keep reiterating that it's very hard to determine what the judges are looking for every judge is different they view the fights differently because they come from different backgrounds in martial arts so you know there is a a basic format to judging criteria but you know like you said we could argue that Diego got taken down but also escaped well and then ended up on top yeah absolutely to dominate himself but you know we got far Jack Jenkins that's controlling most of the clinching against the fence you know this fight's a super close fight indeed it is the judges have their hands full as we enter championship rounds round number four coming up 
Here at Eternal 52. Jack Jenkins. A bit of damage under the eye of Jack Jenkins, no doubt from the elbows on top. As Diego sports his own battle scars as Garth Herriman signals. Round number four. The same here, Benny. Diego looking for a trip there as he looks and he gets Jack up against the cage. Good position for Diego. Yeah, nice little outside trip. Attempt there from Diego, but now just looking to establish that underhook. Get some control, get some score in the cage. Jenkins though, physically strong. Just pushes him off. Ooh. Seems to feeling out period's finished. Yeah. And you got to, you've got to look for both guys to open up here. You have to assume they know the fight's close. They don't necessarily know how they yeah. sit on the judges' scorecard, so you can never be too sure. May as well look for a finish. Guys, just content right now, just to to hang out in the cage and jostle for a little bit of position. But well, they have to be careful here. Yeah. I mean, if, if they're not working, Garth Harriman, as we've seen him do earlier on tonight, will separate them. Nasty elbows from Jenkins. Diego with the single. Great work by Diego, but great work by Jack Jenkins as well. Straight back to his feet. Look at that little switch on the double. Drago trying to bulldog this double leg here. I tell you what, very impressed with both men. For each question asked, they both have an nice answer. Transition to the back. Drago's in a good position. Oh, he's just a bit too slippery, Jack Jenkins. Smart, smart from Jenkins there to lock up the half guard. Even though, you know, it, it seems in Jiu-Jitsu well to stay inside control, locking up that half guard gives you a little bit more time and body contact to sit up like he is now, look for subs and look for some damage. He's in the chin strap there, nicely to lay Diego down. Watch his neck here. Both guys putting it all on the line. He's got to watch his neck here. Defends very well. And as you said, Benny, no stranger at all to the grappling of Jack Jenkins. But Jack doing a great job maintaining position. Great control. Not trying for too much. A bit of a risky maneuver there. Just yeah, it's a bit too high. Point the back. Diego could be in a spot of bother here. Staying calm, but you know, Jenkins has got enough room here to just posture and start to lace him. Diego tapped and Jack Jenkins! So ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at four minutes and one second of round number four. Declaring your winner by submission due to a choke from the back. And... New! Eternal MMA for the late champion, Far Jack Jenkins. Well, you heard it first, ladies and gentlemen, our new Eternal Featherweight Champion, 
So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with our winner and new Eternal MMA Featherweight Champions, Far Jack Jenkins, an incredible performance, getting the submission there in the fourth round. Coming into this fight, what was the game plan? Because it looks like you were, you were happy to engage wherever the fight went. Yeah, we, we just wanted to keep it, uh, keep it in my range and not let him get settled because he's so dangerous if you let him just sit in his range. So the plan was just to get in his, get in his face and you know, put him on the back foot and I think we did a pretty good job. You certainly did. The pressure was very evident. There was a little bit of confusion there at the end. We're not quite sure what caused the tap. Can you give us your kind of thoughts on the finishing sequence? Uh, he broke his jaw. Well, I broke his jaw, I suppose. <laughs> yes, I think, I think that was due to you. Coming into this fight, obviously training at Absolute MMA, and just talk to us a little bit about the team there. Um, we've got such a good team, and I've, I've got my boys at Dad's Army who have been helping me since I started. And then making the move to Absolute last year really sort of put the icing on the cake. My striking coach Andy has been with me, and he, he does it for free. He just does it because he sees something in me. So thank you, Andy. Um, I just before I get off the mic, um, my homie over in Thailand, Sai Liafa, he uh, he had a brain hemorrhage in a fight a couple of months ago, and he's still in Thailand in a coma. Um, so we're just trying to raise some money to get him home. So if if you have a chance to go to our GoFundMe and you know help us get him home, that'd be really appreciated. Well, a fantastic message from an even more fantastic champion. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our new featherweight champion. He is the new eternal featherweight champion. Jack Jenkins gets the job done here tonight.